healing is a an interesting question because obviously a lot of people are sick and a lot of people need healing or they need something and they're praying for it how do you do it um well my experience of coming to belief in healing and therefore living in health goes back you know uh, probably near on 30 years therefore i wouldn't do the things that i did then because i was operating out of the revelation i had then so i did seek every bible verse on healing or health or wholeness and i did confess it and i did look to engage it but i i think the turning point in my journey on that was realizing that god is my healer jehovah uh, rofe i think it is um the lord is my healer it's one of his names it's part of his identity therefore all anything that contradicts that is not god's desire now that throws up all sorts of questions about why some people get healed why some people don't get healed and i can't give you an answer to that because i don't know unless god tells you something specific what i do know it's a complicated subject and not just as simple as just well i believe someone laying hands on me i'll be healed well in reality that does happen but not always do people keep the healing because they've not dealt with the reason why that was there in the first place so in practical terms i probably wouldn't do the same thing that i did then now um but i would have come to the conclusion that health is my inheritance that sickness has no part in me because i'm a child of god and therefore i know how to use the authority i have as a child of god to ensure that i don't get sick i have no thoughts of sickness disease or any negative thing so my mindset my whole consciousness level is health now if you then go to the next step beyond health you're moving into immortality if you live in health there's no reason to ever die unless obviously you finish what you need to do here then you can go direct there without having to die just like elijah and enoch and others so i don't think um we should be even stopping at the concept of health we should be looking at jesus said you know eat my flesh drink my blood you won't die and he did equate it to those walking with moses died in the wilderness that was physical death so he was talking about physical death um in that now obviously you could say well two thousand years have passed since jesus said that and look at all the people who've died how why did they die if if jesus has overcome death well because you need to have your mind renewed to the truth and the reality of that and if your mind says something different then as a person thinks in his heart so is he and the church is taught that you're going to die in fact death is a promotion to go to heaven which is really uh, a covenant with death really and that's not a good thing so we need to look at the concepts in that way so in terms of a theological concept of health i believe god's desire is everyone would be in health and that includes everyone on the planet not just christians because health is for all god's children you know he blessed adam and eve and wanted them to be blessed and to for, be fruitful so i don't see that god restricts healing to those who just know him and actually healing people who don't know him is a good way of getting them to know him so healing is a demonstration of the good news of god's love and power which is a good thing um so the practical steps so let, let's look at you know joe dispensenza you know i i'm totally in agreement with the whole concept of the way we think about things how we approach things and how our mind focuses things is very influential into how we live in health or receive healing and yes it is a quantum physics thing as a man uh, observes that reality or sees that reality or pictures that reality and chooses that reality then that reality will become to manifest if he's not double-minded the problem with healing issues is double-mindedness i believe this but i have these symptoms so i have this double-mindedness i believe this but i have these symptoms i believe this i have these symptoms now the faith movement would tell you to ignore the symptoms or deny the symptoms in some way you don't deny it you just say this is not the truth and therefore the truth will begin to manifest to change this symptom or change this fact 
but the truth is trumps the facts but you also have to believe the truth and that is more a relational thing with jesus the truth rather than confessing the word trying to believe it trying to drum up enough faith um in that way and yes you do need faith to call things that be not as if they are but it's not the same thing as trying to generate that faith in by works that faith is gifted to us to believe in salvation and healing and health and wholeness are part of salvation and salvation already belongs to us because we're already saved and we're saved by grace through faith that's not of ourselves that's a gift of god so we won't boast so the faith is given to us so we need the relationship that would reveal who god is as our healer that would enable faith to be a manifestation of our trust in god not something we try and generate to get god to do something for us and heal us which is a very different thing so when we trust God as being good and wanting to bless us and health as being part of our relationship with him, you know, then that will enable us to actually accept that as truth and that will renew our minds. And then we will be able to believe and act on the, what is the truth rather than trying to find a way of doing it. Now, that being said, there are obviously a whole load of people who are not in that place of being able to choose a reality don't understand quantum physics, don't really understand or have a deep relationship with God and therefore are not close enough to him perhaps to be able to know and trust him as their healer and the one who wants them to be blessed and highly favored. So how do you how do you work that one? Well, then I think in looking at how people can learn to engage the truth, you have to take a step back and see there may be some transitionary ways that god is revealing to bring people into health or for them to receive healing or wholeness and that might include doing whatever he says that could be changing your diet that could be getting more exercise that could be taking using essential oils that could be using rife generated frequencies that could be using gem uh, therapy that could be using light therapy it could be using a numerous things which are generally based on frequency and people like joe dispensenza and others are picking up on the fact that we are frequency if our frequency is low then we're susceptible to ill health if our frequency is high therefore living in rest of love joy and peace enlightened then our frequency is high and our body can be healthy so there's a sense where understanding frequency is a part of coming into health and wholeness and we can have therapies because jesus used therapeuo for as a word for healing um which meant therapy rather than miracle not every healing is a miracle that happens instantly sometimes it is a process and sometimes we go through the process of trusting him and helping listening to him about what he wants us to do in that process so i'm not against any of those type of therapeutic things using frequency because i do believe that's a revelation that god has given today to help more people get into health rather than you know more and more people struggling and dying with sickness so there are new th technologies or new therapies or new alternative ways of treating people i'm not against going to doctors if that's what god wants you to do and you know if i was unconscious in a car accident or something i'd be very happy to wheel away in an ambulance to take it to hospital until i could wake up and deal with that myself i guess my spirit could be still functioning even though i might be unconscious perhaps so in a sense god wants everyone to be in health healthy so you talk about natural law i believe that there are natural things of sowing and reaping I do believe that sickness has a multiple ways of sources. There could be genetic issues. Therefore, you need to have your genes purified. There could be generational issues. Therefore, you need to have anything that's deposited in your generational thing. Epigenetic factors. Comp it's a complicated subject. The key is what is God saying you need to do to receive everything that belongs to you. And therefore, he's quite capable of showing you that. A friend of mine who is battling through stage four cancer was told that she needed to go to a 
uh, hospice because she was going to die shortly, refused to accept the diagnosis, went to the father and said, Father, I don't accept this diagnosis. I know this is not your for me, your will for me. Father says, no, it's not. What do you want me to do? Do this. And so she took some supplements, I think some sort of turmeric and pepper capsicum supplements. Um, she took Nasea, which was a reef reduction compound that restores the uh, cell's ability to communicate. And she used a beamer machine, which is a beam which helps circulation, which is not really, you'd think, anything to do with, you know, stage four bone cancer. But she did what God said. She started off with a markers in her blood of over 500. And the doctors were amazed to see those markers came down month by month by month. And eventually they, the last time I spoke to her, they were less than 30. Uh, and she was perfectly well. So healing comes in different ways. I believe we need to enter into relationship to know the intimacy of God and therefore know God's heart for us to be able to trust him to bring good into our lives in every way, which will bring us into whole health, wholeness and immortality. Um, but it's OK to use whatever way God shows you and people laying hands on you is what the Bible says. What are they doing? They're imparting a frequency or an energy or a vibration or, you know, a resonance of what God's desire is. Now you can engage your faith with that frequency and you can direct that into people's bodies. I, I've done that using my faith gate and my choice gate and activating it and seeing people healed. Um, but I would want to equip people to, to know about health, not just to receive healing from other people. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.